Hello. This is Mike, no stress Mike .com. Um, I was going to uh, make a video talking about uh, um, the basics, uh, you know, water, food, and shelter in, uh, uh, in living in the city. Um, because now I'm living in the city. And um, I've mentioned before that uh, I don't really run on money. I don't use money. I do use money as I travel. Now I'm going to have to change that state because I'm living in the city now. And I use money in the city. And um, so I think I'm going to make this video on money and uh, the importance of money. And the first thing is this is the Monday after uh, New Year's, uh, Chinese New Year's holiday. I was expecting the bank to be open. <laughs> it's not open. And that's what brought to my attention money. And um, so, but anyway, I want to let you watch. I want to, uh, so I came here to the bank for nothing. So now we're going to go back home. We're going to let you look around when, I, when I'm driving and we'll talk about money. And I say, I'm on the moto. And, uh, you can see the bank. Let's see, I'll let you get another view. See, the bank is closed. Uh, the ATM works. But, um, the thing is, <coughs> Uh, I'm in China, and my credit cards don't work. Uh, I'm not sure, but I would say they want tourists to stay in tourist areas where everything is expensive. Now, I'm going to take a side road going back, uh, but... Uh, they jack the prices way up, it's, you know, tourist price. Now, uh, since I don't go where the tourists are, my credit cards don't work. And, uh, so I'm lucky uh, I haven't used ATM machines. So I do keep uh, uh, cash hand. What I learned on my first trip to China, like in the spring, I came in the spring, and uh, this is February 2018, but this last spring I came and I brought gold and silver, because I use gold and silver. And it didn't work, or I haven't figured out how to use it in China. Uh, now, So I had to, and like, and a lot of it is uh, the the type of people I'm I'm hanging around with now. Remember, I talked about you are the average of your five best friends. I don't have any best friends yet. So and um, so I'm looking for friends, and uh, so far everybody that I'm around only knows cash, or they use uh, digital money. And this is what I came to the bank for. Uh, just before New Year's, I started an account. And uh, the account's in a construction bank. And uh, I was able to get, all I needed was my passport. And, uh, Oh, I don't know what they're doing. And they don't know what I'm doing, so I want to get back. I'm turning left. Um, um, let's see. So 
so uh, I started an account, and it only took me well a little over two hours to get my account started. So that's pretty good uh, when you consider I have it takes about that long for me to do it in the states. Uh, so much paperwork and stuff like that. Uh, but I said all I needed was my passport to start an account, and I needed to start an account because uh, I'm, I want to learn how digital money works. And um, I need the digital money to buy things on uh, the internet because I have a very difficult time finding the stuff that I want in shops. So uh, so I have to uh, resort to the the internet and the internet I have to use digital money so that's why I I thought okay I gotta start my I have to start my account so I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna cross the street here and I don't forget I'm on my electric motorcycle and uh, when you're on an electric motorcycle you're the same as a pedestrian do like that guy did <laughs> but uh, uh, but I don't know if you can see the lights you can see they're crossing when they shouldn't be crossing but, but anyway um, um, so I'm starting to use the digital one I'm uh, using cash now, and uh, it's six to six and a half to one on the U.S. dollar. So you use large sums of cash, and um, uh, let's see. Um, the I was. Since I went to the bank and no money, that made me start thinking, boy, I wonder if everybody's got large sums of money set aside for when the bank's on over. Because it is a big thing. And uh, I've noticed also, like I say, here I have to use cash for everything. I, since I can't communicate, I can't really uh, trade my uh, skills and services uh, like I would if I was uh, was able to communicate. People have no idea my skills here, uh, and uh, some of my skills are just impractical and, and useless uh, like uh, most of my uh, well, uh, this thing I thought was kind of odd most of my uh, uh, three man militia uh, skills are kind of worthless and the reason uh, the main reason is I can't talk so you know I you know they don't know what skills I have and how to use these skills because these people are uh, uh, basically uh, city people that uh, uh, are limited in skills and but uh, just like on my on my house, I don't have the, the tools to perform all the skills that I need. Uh, let's say we've got a, a, what do you call it, a, a faucet that needs to be repaired. I don't have the proper tools to fix that faucet. And I don't have the communication skills to... Uh, get someone to uh, 
come do the the faucet. Yeah, I mean, not only I couldn't tell them what to do, I don't even know where to go to find somebody. And uh, so, and there's a lot of things like this that really uh, has given me limitations. Yeah, I'm trying to turn left here, but uh, I could have done this uh, at that last light. Uh, turning left like this but you saw all the cars and stuff I don't want to uh, take a chance remember I've, I've mentioned before uh, when you're in a uh, foreign land no matter what because in the United States we're used to it's always somebody else's fault you know, who's, who's liable for the, for your screw up you know, nobody takes responsibility but in foreign countries anything Anything that goes wrong, it is your fault. And when you know this, you are much more cautious. You take personal responsibility. And you better go by your morals because you don't know the laws. So you better know that you're doing the right thing. And then you just pay the price. The right thing or not, you got to pay the price. You do it. But, but anyway, uh, money is a very big thing. Sure, how I'm going to continue with this money thing in the way of uh, I've been stockpiling money and I hate cash. Uh, now, uh, it's uh, bad enough, uh, the you know, like the U.S. dollar. I don't trust the U.S. dollar, I mean, it can. I mean, it can go any time, and now the uh, now the the Chinese money is not tied to the U.S. dollar. That's another reason why uh, China was a little more appealing to me. I know I can still have a financial cushion in uh, uh, the Chinese money if the dollar goes. And uh, but anyway. It is a pain about stockpiling money, in which I would much rather stockpile gold and silver. But I say I still haven't figured out how to use it uh, here in China. Now, now once shit hits the fan, whether China or not, uh, then gold and silver will be uh, a valuable asset, and I will. Uh, I, and I'm, I'm bringing now. I'm bringing more gold and silver here. So I'll have a, a, a stash over here, same as I do in the United States. Uh, as I say, it may, people may not know what it's, how to use it here now, but when shit hits the fan, uh, it's definitely going to be uh, a big plus to have gold and silver, especially here. And I say, with that, I can still move around. I can still do things no matter what happens with the money. But uh, anyway, um, we're going to let it go with that. Uh, I don't know if I really covered the money as good as I, I should have. I was trying to think. It's hard for me to drive and uh, think at the same time. Um, as I say, screw up bad, you don't want to screw up. Any screw up is really bad. In a foreign country, you really got problems. So, uh, but, but anyway, uh, it did shock me when the bank wasn't open, and I, that's when I realized, man, money, you know, lucky I got a bunch of money put away, because, you know, you're going to have problems. And like I say, even that has got me, because uh, with the electric mo money, electronic money is the only way I can leave the country or move around. Well, no, I can buy train tickets, uh, but plane ticket, I think you have to use the electronic money. Uh, but, um, it's, I don't the electronic money is what I'm getting into, and it's, it's a new, a very new world for me. Uh, but I need to, like I say, I buy from eBay in the United States. Here, I don't know, it's another, they, got, they don't use eBay, they don't have Google. There's a lot of things, so I've got to change and learn 
uh, different things and I'm gonna have to like I say do more electronic money so I can start buying things but anyway I thought I'd share that with you uh, this mic no stress mic.com